Hey guys, this is Reggie and Michael from KTTA 8.1 TV. We're going to give you a quick little demonstration on how to install your UHF two bay antenna so that you can receive uh, free over the air TV and of course 8.1. The first thing that we're going to do here is walk around the residence and look to see where the best place is to mount this little guy. Now, the signals that are being transmitted in this area come from right out here to our east and so I can see the side up on the mountain that's transmitting the signals perfect and uh, we walked around the place and we think that right here is ideal so uh, she's not using the, the uh, dish receiver anymore and all she wants is over the air TV so we're going to remove the dish receiver and use the bracket already installed on the side of the house we're going to put this right on uh, right on there and hook the coax right into this antenna. So for you folks that want to use the dish service and also the over uh, the antenna over the air broadcast signals, that's uh, simple to do. You don't have to get rid of your dish if you want to use over the air. So all you got to do is you got to have two separate coax lines going in your house to your TV. One for the antenna, one for the dish. That's the easiest way to do it. But in this situation, like I said, she wants to get rid of the dish. She's not using it anymore. So we're just going to use the one line that's already uh, set up going right into her house. Uh, it's going to be really easy. We're just going to pop that on there, use that line, and uh, put a little splitter in there so she can feed two TVs, and we'll be good to go. So uh, let's get started. A lot of folks ask if you can have the antenna inside your attic and uh, the answer is yes you can but depending on your location uh, is going to is going to depend on how good the signal is and how many channels you're able to view. Uh, if you're far away from the transmit site and you have trees all over and you're trying to get away with watching the TV the over the air broadcast channels uh, with the antenna in your attic it might be uh, right on the verge and not working the greatest. So the best thing to do is to get it outside like we have here, uh, get a good nice path shot to the transmit site uh, serving your area or community and uh, run the coax in, do a channel scan and you should get everything you need. If you want more than one TV in your house hooked up to the antenna, you're going to need a two-way or three-way splitter, maybe even a four-way if you have that many sets in your house. But as what is important uh, to know when you install these splitters is they're dividing the signal, and that can uh, that can lead to uh, the picture skipping and the blocking and uh, not being very fun to watch. So make sure that when you do install these splitters that you use a preamp booster to boost the signal before you go into the splitter, come out of the splitter and go into your TV sets. There's a wide variety of UHF antennas on the market but the one that we like is the Stellar Labs 2-bay and 4-bay antennas. If you do purchase a Stellar Labs 2-bay or 4-bay or similar antenna, one thing to know when you're installing it is you want it installed vertically and not horizontal. You want the uh, screen vertical and the and the uh, bow ties you want them horizontal and you want the bow ties facing the transmitter site all right the antenna is all hooked up and ready to go so now it's time to go inside do a channel scan on your menu on your TV and make sure it's set to antenna and then it's time to sit down relax and watch some free over-the-air broadcast on your HD TV